Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. So happy afternoon everybody and namaste. My name is Samyukta. Welcome to the world united, the world parliament on spirituality. It's 17th of December 2021. 2021 has been a very challenging year for all of us and all of us have come out in our own strong ways. A lot of lessons learned, a lot of learnings and experiences that we required. Also with the faith that we can go forward, we have seen the worst and no matter what we will find a way. But where does this confidence come from? From the seat of spirituality. So today we celebrate spirituality with amazing speakers today. My uh, gratitude to Dr. Yuginder for organizing this amazing platform and also to all our viewers all across the world who in your own way contribute to spreading this energy of spirituality all across the world. Ultimately our message is one world and world peace. So today we will start on track two and our first speaker is uh, Hila Rupesh Bhun. And uh, a short introduction of Sir is that he's been into spiritual practices from a very early age. Uh, like we all know, it starts very early. He's been uh, um, in different kinds of modalities. And today uh, our uh, Rupesh Sir will be talking to us about the topic Guide to Inner Happiness. Reiki and the crystals and um, holistic health with spiritual practices. Over to you, uh, Rupesh sir. Sure. Hello, everyone. Happy afternoon to all of you. I hope you all are doing well. Yeah. So, yes, uh, extremely sorry for the interruption. It was message from the Dr. Yuvandar. We cannot ignore that. Right. So, my topic uh, is the uh, spiritual practices and uh, holistic health. The topic itself covers the two major aspects of our life, spiritual practices and the holistic health. I hope I'm audible to all of you. Yes. Very clear, sir. Yeah, great. Uh, right. So the topic itself suggests it's in uh, two parts, spiritual practices. Then another part is holistic health. Though this both the parts are completely integrated into our life. So let us begin what exactly the spiritual practices means. Spiritual practices, spiritual practices as in the practice to attain the highest goal of our life. That is the highest goal of attaining the self-realization, self-actualization. We definitely do various kinds of practices to reach at that point. We cannot judge how much we have covered those part or anything, but everybody directly, indirectly, in any way, slow, fast, are moving towards the goal of this self-actualization or self-realization. Right. Whenever we talk about the spiritual practices, we always have to include uh, the discussion on chakras or the practices on chakras or the chakra balancing or the uh, chakra activation and the another topic what we have to include when we talk about spiritual practices is the belief systems right let us first start with the chakra balancing and then we will move towards the belief system and how they both are uh, helpful for our holistic health so chakras though everybody every one of us might be aware about the seven major chakras in our body when we move towards the spiritual path when we start progressing towards the spirituality we work on the chakras we work to activate the chakras to energize the chakras right there are many many methods available uh, among the various organization and various institutions that help in the de in developing our chakras right this chakras uh, are you can say it's kind of a barometer that developed chakras is the more you are into the spirituality right in my belief in my belief what i have learned through so many days in my practices what i understand the spiritual practices no matter whatever it is and in, in whatever institution it is being followed all the spiritual practices directly or indirectly 
is connected with the 112 different techniques of meditation that has been given by the great Lord Shiva. We cannot go beyond that. Right. And those all practices, those all uh, methods integrate us or take us to the uh, path of the spiritual progress. Right. And this again also includes the development of the inner self and the, this inner self is again dependent upon the development of chakras. Right. Then there is another aspect through which we can develop our spiritual progress. And that is by, cl by clearing our mind, by claiming the inner peace, the deep peace. And how we can claim that? And that is the true by clearing our limiting beliefs that do not allow us to progress, that do not allow us to go ahead in our life. Again, this limiting belief not only holds us, but also creates the pains and problems in our physical body as well as in our mind. Right. As and when this limiting belief starts clearing out, as and when our mind getting more and more clear, we are moving towards the our goal of the spirituality, towards our the highest goal of self-actualization. Right. So it was about the spiritual practices. Now, as we know, spiritual practices is about developing our chakras and about clearing the beliefs. Now, these chakras are directly or indirectly associated with our physical body as well as with our mind. So, as and when we keep on doing the spiritual practices in the correct way, in the right way, and that too very religiously, slowly, slowly, we will uh, lead toward the complete health, holistic health. When we say about the holistic health, we are not talking about the physical health or physical well-being. We are completely talking about the holistic health, which also includes the mind and other surroundings also. So as and when our mind start getting balanced, the, all the stress level is gone, the beliefs system that is creating the havoc or the limiting belief system that do not allow us to go ahead. As that start getting clear, the pains and problem into our physical body will start uh, vanishing away, right? And that will lead to our, the, but it will help you to reach our, the final goal of realization. Now, about the spiritual practices that I feel like it helps in the both the way, both the way direction to us. It is one of the spiritual practices that we do is like uh, Lama Fera, which is not only a healing modality, but also the spiritual practices. Then there is an advanced uh, version of Lama Fera known as Yoga Maya, which is dependent upon the deep level of breathing. Then, then there is uh, the advanced and secret practices of Reiki that helps to develop the spiritual powers within you. Right? And so on. There are a lot many methods. Right. These are the methods that I am talking about. It has a dual benefit, like it helps in uh, growing spiritually as well as it helps uh, to maintain our mental as well as physical health and social well-being all the way around. Yeah. So here I will sum up, wind up my speech with a small quote. The real goal of our life is to create the happiness from deep within and then leave the rest. Everything will happen smoothly. Yeah, thank you. Questions are invited. If anybody wants to ask anything, I'm definitely available. Uh, thank you so much, Rupesh, sir. That was a short but a very effective uh, discussion. We will come back to questions a little later. And uh, before that, I would like uh, to present a small token of our appreciation. Uh, for you, sir. Yeah, thank you. That is our, uh, you know, a certificate from oh. the World United. Oh, and uh, we, the World United proudly presents Rupesh H. Bhut for being an esteemed speaker and the first speaker on track to in the Global Transformation Festival. Thank you so much for being here. Looking thank forward you. for the group discussions as well. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I would request Samyukta ji as I have yeah. to go to the track three for the workshop. Please sure. allow me to. Sure, uh, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, thank you so much.